Today, our CBS 58 Hometowns journey takes us to McQuanago. So what makes this village so special? We're finding out this morning ahead of Nicole Coughlin's visit there later today. Joining us this morning is Fred Schnook, the Village of McQuanago Administrator. Good morning, Fred. Good morning. So tell us what makes McQuanago such a great place. Oh, I think it's our historic downtown is just one of the wonderful amenities that we have here. Um, it's an authentic and, and very historic downtown that includes a 180-year-old historic uh, museum, our most famous and haunted Fork in the Road restaurant. We have an old-fashioned candy store, something I haven't seen since I was a kid, e &S Sweets. Mm. Numerous coffee houses, including Espresso Love and Family Nights at Brew 52, David Allen Allen Smokehouse, uh, famous wings at the Boneyard, and let's not forget the Elegant Farmer with their mm -hmm. baked uh, pies in a, in a in a paper bag. So there's so many things to talk about um, in, in terms of the amenities in our community that um, you just can't mention them all. Well, Fred, if you had to pick one, maybe a hidden gem, what would you say, what would you recommend to people? Well, I, I think what's really important is um, is we're just a day trip away. I mean, we're we're right at the confluence of Highway 43 and 83. We're a half an hour from Milwaukee, an hour from Madison, two hours from Chicago. So it's a great place if you just want to get away, spend some time in our downtown. Uh, the place that I really enjoy most is probably the salads at um, the Most Haunted forks, uh, Fork in the Road restaurant. It's a very uh, historic restaurant in town, and folks say it's haunted, but I think the salads are great. I just really, <laughs> really enjoy the food there. Uh, I recommend the mac and cheese, gluten-free mac and cheese there, too. Which I'm is not, so that hungry, you guys. Yeah. It's not fair. It's only 6.50 <laughs> in the morning, but I want mac and cheese. I guess it's time for mac and cheese any time, right? Yes, exactly. any time, any time. All right, Fred, well, thank you so much for being here this morning. Nicole, check in with CBS 58's Nicole Coglin. Hi, Nicole. Hi, guys. Yes, yeah, such a friendly community. We're loving our time so far here in McGuanago. Right now, we're at the McGuanago Community Library, which is amazing and we're excited to be joined by the library director abby thank you for having us yeah thanks for coming so many people said you have to go to the check out our library and now i see why yes you've yes. got to be proud of this place it's super proud it is the crown jewel of the town yeah but one of the best parts is our thingery i know so, so i just met a coffee a woman at the coffee shop this morning she said you have to go see the thingery and this is it this is the this, thingery yes and explain what this is so a thingery is a library of things okay. so not only do we have books and magazines and all that awesome stuff yeah but with your library card you can actually check out things to use at home like all kinds of things or so what's this so this is digitizes all of your old family films oh. and family slides as well so that's super popular so people can preserve their family memories it's amazing and yeah there's a stunt finder down here crochet tools kits. are very very We're, useful i mean binoculars because again binoculars. When, you may oh oops trash in the place now. i mean you maybe you're going bird watching exactly you, just wanna, you know one time have this instead of buy a instead of buying yeah. something and that's the beautiful part about this is we often like the fitbits over here people yeah. will try the fitbits for a week to decide if they actually want to purchase it and bring it i home. love it metal detector metal detector very popular at right. our beach of course and then musical instruments too absolutely so our ukuleles those are constantly in circulation <laughs> I have no talent. But, and that is so cool. The thingery. So again, and this is just a small sample. You guys have so oh, many items. Almost 500 items. Yes. Yes. Fabulous. All right, we're almost out of time, but I want you, because you were talking a little bit about this community. Why is McGuanico so special? Oh, the people here are just fantastic. Yeah. I've been here for maybe only a year, and everybody was super welcome and very genuine, and yeah. it's been a fantastic time working here. It's a neat place. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank Thanks you. for showing us around. <laughs> I'll play you out with a song. No, I got nothing. We'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. Oh, come on. Serenade. Us, please. Yeah. <laughs> we want to see your skills, Nicole. Uh, very. The new McWanago has so much to offer, and it's where our hometowns tour has landed today. And we can't truly profile a hometown <laughs> without a stop at a good restaurant, right? CBS 58's Nicole Coglin is at David Allen's Smokehouse and Saloon with those delicious details. Nicole. Yes. No, that's not a typo. It's David Allen Allen's. There's two Allen's. And remember that if you're coming oh, yeah. here. David Allen Allen's and everybody, this by the way, as Andrew said, you have to come to David Allen Allen's. Absolutely. The Smokehouse. You guys are, it's that well known and that good. Oh, I, easily. I mean, we fill up nearly every night of the week. I mean, yes. you really can't beat hand smoked meat. We yeah. do everything in house. So it, and the quality speaks for itself. Right. So. And also speaking for itself, you guys are known for your smoked meat, but oh, yeah. also yeah, this is our smoked old fashioned. Okay. Uh, so we actually smoke the brandy in house and then we add a little bit of smoke off the top, which 
probably a little faint, but hey, it still <laughs> tastes really, really good. Right. Um, but yeah, it's your classic old fashioned made with real sugar. Not a whole lot of places are still doing it the old way, but uh, yeah. we think it tastes better. Sauces, all the sauces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our staples are definitely the Kansas City and the babe. Uh, a bacon bourbon uh, barbecue and those are kind of what we're built on we do have our three spicy options sriracha sweet and spicy with smoked jalapeno honestly uh one of my personal favorites has got to be the korean ginger beer All right. uh, All it right. is it's really nice and tangy, especially on some good smoked yeah. chicken. David so. Allen Allen's, everybody said, I mean, best yeah. in the state is what some people are saying. Well, I, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take I, it? Definitely. <laughs> so. All right, so come on, you guys have a patio for mm -hmm. summer, anyone stopping by, and you're located right off of 43. Very dog friendly on our patio, oh, okay. so feel free to bring those by. Yeah. Um, we're also, we cater to, you know, police, firefighters, military, so we are very, we're very community oriented here, yes. so we really like everyone to come by and just enjoy some good old fashioned smoked meat. I love so. it. David Allen Allen's in McGuanago. Smells amazing. It smelled amazing when we drove in the parking lot. <laughs> it's like hickory and cherry wood. Man. Yeah. Hickory and cherry so wood. you will see it if you uh, you'll smell it maybe before you see it. But at 58 Hometowns, thank you again for talking to us today. We've had a great time in McGuanago. So many friendly people we've met, and that's a wrap. Again, I think this is like the. I'm just going to end with a cocktail. <laughs> it's a great it's way to old fashioned. Yeah, it's a great way to end the day. Lynn has been making the rounds around town, and she joins us live from a cafe serving up not food, but rather music. Tell us about it, Nicole. We've had such a great day here in McGuanago, so thank you to everybody in the warm welcome. We are now at the Music Cafe in McGuanago. Amy Gooden, one of the owners, joining us right now. Thank you for having us. Yes, thanks for including us on yeah. your project. So I many people, it. yeah, people said you have to go to the Music Cafe. So Aww. first of all, when you walk in, you're like, whoa, but tell us what happens here, a little bit about the so place. So we are a small mom and top pop music store, yeah. and we offer lessons here in all instruments, and we have about... 350 to 400 students at any given time. Wow. We rent um, band and orchestra instruments mm -hmm. to school students. So we are a satellite for White House of Music, actually. Okay. For that. Yeah. Shout out to them. Mm hmm. And Can we walk back by the, because there's lessons sure. happening. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Come on back. And all ages, right? You were saying? Yes. Okay. All ages from five to a hundred. Five <laughs> to a hundred. Basically. We've okay. had. He's got, he's, he's waiting got for his lesson. Yes. Listen here, let's see. Oh, she's not going to want that. So. <laughs> so we've got guitar going on. We had piano oh, earlier, piano right? back here. Sorry. <laughs> we're oh, going to have to do gonna... a lot of editing. We're going to check in these doors. Okay. So oh, yeah. I don't know if you can. Oh, look at, yeah. So the young, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's one of our little piano students. So. And as we watch her, let's talk a little bit about, because you said being in this community and giving back to the community is really important yes, to you. Yes, we are very fortunate to own a business in a supportive community like McQuanago. Yeah. And uh, because of that, we've been able to thrive through difficult times like the past couple of years. Right, right. And um, so we, we appreciate being able to give back the support yes 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 so um through that we will we offer a um guitar raffle yeah. at at christmas time right around christmas time mm -hmm. at midnight magic and we donate all the proceeds to the local fine arts boosters program because that's what's about right exactly this kind of community in mcguanago and in your hometown Exactly. Very cool. In our hometown, yeah. yes. Our kids were all musicians here. I love it. All the way through. Yeah. And uh, so we... Keeps going. Yes, we enjoy yes. being a part of that. Still continuing. Cool. So. Amy, thank you for having us here thank today. Thank you. Thank you to everybody on social media who said, you have to stop at the Music Cafe. We can see why. Thank <laughs> we'll you. send it back I to the studio. I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Today's 58 Hometowns Tour brings us to the village of McGuanago here in Waukesha County. McGuanago, the word, is from a Potawatomi word, which translates to the place of the bear. Hey, we're at Phantom Lake YMCA Camp, McGuanago, Wisconsin. It's been here since 1896, actually the oldest YMCA camp in all of North America. We have over 200 kids that come here and the energy is great. They can't bring their phones or any type of a, a computer, so they're disconnected, but they're getting more connected with other kids at camp. Yeah, we, we wanna make sure that we're available to everybody all year round. So one of the things that we have started a couple years ago is we have a, a program for seniors. So they're here six days a week, and they might be doing something, exercising or learning a new skill, 
uh, smartphones, computers, uh, or simply playing a card game. So welcome to Espresso Love Coffee, downtown McLenago. So it's a nice meeting place. Uh, students come in here to study. Um, businesses come in here for meetings. Old friends meet here, so yeah, it's very nice. I just like the connections that everybody can make, and it's it's all your friends are going back and forth, your family, you see everyone you know. Well, welcome to the McGuanago Community Library. Oh, this place is the heart of the community, sometimes referred to as the crown jewel of McGuanago. Way more than just books, holy cow. Our thingery is packed with items, everything from practical canning equipment to a Fender guitar. We have our Metaspace 511 Makerspace, and that's a great place community members can come in, learn from our staff how to use laser engravers, 3D printers, and make whatever's in their wildest dreams. Such a warm welcome. We met so many great people today. We don't want to go, but it's time to say goodbye from McGuanago. We'll find out where Nicole is going next week. On Monday during the CBS 58 Morning News, she will pick two more hometowns and then send in your suggestions for the people and places she should visit. You can reach out through email or on social media.